ADSB SDR Battle Royale 3. 3. 3. However you do your 3 is the third one, okay? So, on this one, we're going to take the winner of the last round, which was the Nualek NESDR V5. I got it right that time. Against my RTL SDR. Moment of truth. Uh, this is the one that I took out of my permanent ADSB receiver at home. So I wanted to see how well it would it would pair up. We're gonna get some numbers. We're gonna put them on the spreadsheet and see what happens. So let's get to it. Test is over. This test rang longer than my other test because live happens. But you know what? More data is a good thing, I think. Here we have some of the results. ADSB test one received 139.1 million packets. ADSB test two received 86.9 million packets. That's a pretty significant difference, if you ask me. That difference being 52 million packets. That's a lot. Mind you, this ran for a while, so of course the numbers are gonna add up in a hurry. The math says that we're looking at a 60% improvement on ADSB test one over ADSB test two. What was ADSB test one is the real question here. Drum roll, please. ADSB test one was the new ELEC NESDR Smart V5. Is wrong on the spreadsheet. Let me fix that now. And ADSB test two is the RTL SDR. This doobly do. As you can see, is beaten and scratched and is very well used. This was my very first SDR, and this is the SDR that I've been running in my permanent receiver at my home since I set this up back in uh, 2017, I believe. Yeah, the, the date of manufacture on this is 2017. I don't know if the camera is going to catch that or not, but there you have it, 2017. Like I said, I replaced it only because I thought the thing was going bad. It turned out to be the power supply that I had in the uh, external unit. Nevertheless, by replacing it and figuring out later that the problem was my power supply, I saw a massive spike, a massive difference in reception in my main unit, and that's what led to this entire series. Of course, putting a new power supply in my outdoor unit made that unit a whole lot more reliable, but it's also getting a lot more data because I replaced this. Now, that's not to say that this is a bad SDR, because it's not. Still receiving packets, as you see from the test. However, it may be that age has an effect on these things because my ADSB receiver for home lives in, you know, a, a weather resistant box outdoors 24-7, 365. It goes through Indiana winters and it goes through Indiana summers. The temperatures in there go freezing and the temperatures in there go well into over 100 degrees. It is not unreasonable to expect things like power supplies to flake out over the length of time that I had that box out there. And it's also not un unreasonable to expect other components to degrade. If you have a long-term unit, you might wanna check on it every once in a while and not be like me where I put it up and essentially I took it down once when I moved and put it right back up. Never so much as considered that the age of the unit might be an issue, and it might. I will find that out if in a few years I replace the SDR that's in there now with a newer SDR and I get better performance out of it, assuming that they're relatively the same in specs. There is an SDR that I'm seriously thinking about buying because Mike, N8YO, has that SDR at his house and he sings the praises of it. And the charts that he's getting on performance are pretty amazing. So I'm seriously considering buying one, but it's a big layout. If I do, I'll run another comparison between the winner of this and that one, and we'll see which one really is the king supreme of it. I expect it'll be the more expensive unit, but we won't know how much the expensive unit is really worth until we pin it against a less expensive unit. That's all I have for you on this one right now. I am pretty sure I have another SDR to test, but I am waiting on some stuff in the mail. Skydiving season's nearly on us. I'm recording this on the 13th of April. The skydiving season opens on the 22nd of April. And that means 
that we're not that far off from Parachute Mobile. So cross your fingers, hope for good weather, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, down the log. 7-3, everybody. Yeah.